So why start a business in Thailand? Yeah, that's a good question. So I would break that down into five areas. Uh, recruitment, uh, Thailand as a, as a hub in, in the Asian region, operating costs, uh, government schemes and uh, living and working environment. So the first one, recruitment, um, there is quite a good access to skilled workers in, in Thailand. It's definitely an underestimated area, particularly graduates. Um, if you look in the UK, where obviously I'm working in, in IT there, the, the market is quite competitive, but there is actually a, a very good skilled workforce here in, in Thailand. And it's quite easy to get staff. You know, I can employ and interview people. And it, you know, it takes a month. Um, and there were, I have lots of people coming for interviews, and that's you know, that's a really good pipeline, which I struggle with in the UK. Um, I think secondly, Thailand as a hub. Um, if you look at the growth in Europe, which is around 0.5 percent, and in the US it's about 1.1, then actually the Asian um, uh, region is around four and a half. So there's a really good access to you know a revenue base here, which is great. Thirdly, which is probably the the most important thing is around operating costs. So, interestingly, in the UK, uh, a UK startup company uh, spend around twenty-two thousand pounds in the first year. Uh, but more interestingly, half of them don't survive the five, first five years of business. And that, a lot of that is really because it's a competitive environment, but also because the operating costs are so much higher. So, in Thailand, the initial investment outlay is probably similar to what you spend in somewhere like the UK. But as you start to factor in operating costs, that cost becomes much lower. So in terms of overall risk, the investment here is, is a lot less. And as an individual or a company, you need a lot less money to, um, to put into something like a, in a new business here. So that's great. Um, if you look at things like salaries, then they're roughly about 25% of what they are in the UK. So that's the, probably the biggest cost in most businesses, salaries. And that is a lot cheaper here. And the second thing really is around office space. So in London, for example, the average office space per month, per person, is around £700. On the higher end in somewhere like Bangkok is around 200 pounds, but that can be as low as 100. So maybe six times less than what you were spending in the UK. So all of that really makes your operating costs a lot less. As I said, it, it really affects that investment risk. And the fourth, fourth thing which we were talking about previously is around the government BOI and the tax incentives. The so corporation tax, um, if you if you get the board of investment, is, is, you can get a 0% corporation tax, which means you can reinvest that back into your company. And then really the fifth thing in there is more of a personal thing, but it's uh, the living and working environment. Obviously, people who come to Thailand know what it's like here. It's nice to work with the people, um, and it, you know it's an, it's an enjoyable experience. So I think mean, that's an, an important factor to take into account as well.